welcome back to my channel. Today is a very special day. It is officially the launch day of my ColourPop collaboration. I feel like this week has flown by because I, I seriously just announced it to you guys. Sort of uploading pictures and then it was a countdown and suddenly we're here and today's the launch day. It has been honestly the most amazing experience since I announced this to you guys. You guys have all been nothing but supportive and loving and so kind to me and I can't thank you guys enough. I really thank you guys for giving me the motivation to keep on going with this and really just, you know, having my back 100%. Doing a collaboration is a little scary because you never know if everyone's going to love what you come out with, especially if you work really hard on it. So the fact that you guys have shown just tremendous amount of support and love really means so much to me and I really can't thank each and every single one of you guys. So before I get a little emotional again, um, in this tutorial I'm going to be sharing with you guys how to achieve this hot new look using the Saucy Palette and Mamacita Lip Pencil and Lip Color. I really love the way this came out. It's so fierce and bold and you seriously feel so saucy just in this whole look. So I really hope you guys love what you are seeing and if you do, please continue watching. Subscribe if you're not subscribed either and without further ado, let's get it started. I'm gonna just warn you guys right now, I have no acrylic nails. We're taking a little bit of a break, so um, please ignore the nails. I'm gonna go first using my MAC Studio Finish Concealer in the shade NC20 and this Morphe G34 brush. I'm just gonna be applying this all over the lid, kind of as my base today. I'm gonna be using actually two bases, but this is the first one. And just making sure I really pull it in. And now I'm gonna be taking in the shade Distress for my Shiki palette and the Morphe 510 and 510 brush. And I'm going to just grab a little bit of this and pat this for the beginning of my eye and the lid and then the brow, just a very small amount. All right, so now I'm gonna be going in with my Saucy palette. This is my favorite palette of the whole collection. It is just a fun palette to really play up your makeup with. Um, so I pulled a fresh one out, just so you guys can really see how beautiful these shades are. I'm gonna be going in first with the shade Chic Happens, and I'm gonna apply this color on with the Morphe M507 brush. It's a very small tapering brush. I'm using this brush first because I really just wanna make a line so that it guides me. And now I'm gonna apply a little more of that Chic Happens onto this Smith 230 brush and we're gonna go right in the crease and blend everything out I'm gonna go back in with that small tapering brush and then apply a little more again making the line a little more intense and I'm focusing this mainly on the crease because I really want this area to be defined and I'm gonna go back in with the Smith 232 and blend it all out I'm just going in that circular motion bringing it to the front of the eye and then again to the crease and then right here is where I like to just kind of pull it out. It's going to just make everything blend nicely when I apply the shade Razy to the crease. See how it looks like I have like three different shades on and it looks like that because I'm just keep on darkening up that area and then buffing it out and darkening it up and buffing it out. So I love that I can get a few shades with this one color. Now I'm going to be going in with this color Razy and I'm going to apply this to my crease. So for this color, I'm going to be applying it onto my lash line and I'm just patting it on there. I'm really wanting to intensify this area first before I blend it all out. And then from there, I'm going to grab this Smith 247 blending brush and I'm not going to add any more onto the brush. I'm going to blend only what I have on my lid first and then go back in and apply more if I need it. And to not go too in, you can just kind of lightly tap it, extending it out. Better to go out than go too far in. And I'm just applying a little more Razy onto the lash line and then now grabbing that brush and tapping it. So now I'm gonna move on and go onto the lid. I'm gonna go in first and use Urban Decay's Eyeshadow Primer Potion in the original shade, original. You guys know I usually use Eden. It's a little more see-through. I can see through the color a little more. I'm gonna grab a flat brush. This is Makeup Shack's flat brush. And I'm gonna pick up a little bit of that primer potion. Think of this as like your sheer concealer. It's like a sheer consistency. So if you're wondering like what the difference is, Eden is more of like a full coverage concealer. This is gonna be like your more sheer, more natural base. So I'm gonna grab this brush and I'm gonna be tapping this pretty much on my eyelid. I'm not going to go all the way through. I'm just going to stop right about there and I'm just going to perfect on getting this pretty defined. And then from there I'm going to go in with a little more of a fluffier flat brush and I'm just going to pat this. Okay, just lightly pat it so it doesn't just stop and it can gradually blend into there. Now I'm going to grab the color Lit. This color is Lit too. This is my absolute favorite shade from this palette. So I just picked up some of the color on there. I'm going to spray a little bit of Fix Plus and then from there I'm just going to pat this onto my eyelid. 
I'm really, really loving this shade. It looks so different on everybody. It has like an undertone of like, I don't know, like it has like burgundy, but then it has a little bit of purple, has a little bit of rose. Like there's such a good blend in here. So now that we have all that on, I'm gonna go back in with the beautiful Eggplant Deep Purple Color Razy. I'm going in with a flat brush and I'm just patting this into the crease. And I'm gonna go right over some of that metallic shade. It's totally okay if it covers it up a little bit. I just really wanna get it a little more smoky right in there. I'm now going to go in with the shade Heavy Glam and apply this to the inner part of my eye. Picking up just a little bit of this on the brush. I wet the brush a little bit as well. I'm just going to set this right there. I'm going to be taking in the NYX Liquid Liner and applying this onto my lash line. I'm going to be doing a very thin line. I just going to need this before I do any kind of lash to really kind of complete the look. Again, it's going to be very thin today. I know I always say that and I go for like the thickest wing possible. This is just going to... Add a little bit of color. I'm now gonna be going in with the MAC Bold Bad Black. This is their newest mascara, which I shared on my Snapchat the other day. It's like a two-in-one deal, so I'm gonna be using this for my top lashes and then the other side for my bottom lashes. I'm now going in with Lily Lashes in the style Caramel. These are beautiful for this kind of look. They're a little different than the original ones that I normally wear from hers. Um, these have a lot more of the focus on the outer part of the eye, which is what I want. I didn't want them to be too this way and then it take over my entire makeup, so I'm gonna just Pop these onto the center and then adjust them to the side. And then I'm now gonna just pinch them together to make sure they're all together as one. Well. So I'm gonna be doing my foundation and concealer off camera and then I'm gonna come back and finish my eyes, my face, and my lips. I'll be right back. All right, so I'm all baked, I'm ready to go. So I'm now gonna go in again using again the shade Chic Happens, then Razy, and then a little bit of Heavy Glam. All right, so I'm using Chic Happens first. Kind of with the underneath shade, you can go as low as you want. It's gonna blend out nicely when you apply the color Razy. So now I'm gonna go with the color Razy and I'm gonna go in with the flat defining brush and I'm gonna define my lash line. I'm gonna go pretty close, as close as I can to the lash line. I'm going to extend this out as well. And then to really just intensify the line, I'm gonna spray some Fix Plus onto the brush. And you guys know when you wet the brush, it makes the shadow go on like a liner, especially if it's matte and the metallics makes it look more wet. Line up my waterline. Oh, this is so weird. Roll up above. And you can see pretty much the intensity that that black liner does against the purples. I'm going to grab that Chic Happens color and apply a little more. All right, grabbing a little bit more of Heavy Glam and I'm just going to pack, pack this onto the inner part again. In this case, I lifted any of it up and then lightly blend it into the bottom lash line just like that. All right, let's blend away. So I'm now gonna go back in with that bold and bad lash and finish up my bottom lashes. I'm gonna pop off the one I was telling you guys about that is a smaller brush, tiny, micro tiny that is for the bottom lashes. So I'm gonna get these bottom lashes on point. I don't even know if this is for your bottom lashes, but I'm assuming it's for like hard to reach areas, um, especially like in between. But for bottoms, I feel like it's so perfect because it really gets in everywhere. So now I'm gonna be applying some highlight and I'm gonna be using the Dose of Colors Gold is a new black. And I'm gonna be taking that in with a fan brush from Morphe. This is the M310. I can have a little bit of that. So now that I spray my skin with some Fix Plus, I have some highlight. I'm gonna be applying a little more highlight onto my cheekbones. I'm gonna be using my color Heavy Glam, the one I have right here. It's so pretty. It really has like a gorgeous, like pearlescent kind of finish. I don't know if you guys can really see it. Um, but I love the way it looks and I wanted to apply the gold as a new black first to kind of neutralize it and then add the one on top just to give it a little bit of a sheen of the color. So I'm gonna be grabbing this brush from Smith Cosmetics. Just a small amount on there. And I'm just gonna go, oof, see? Hit it. I just put it on my chin. <laughs> Love the way this looks. So we're now on to the last step of the makeup and that is lips. And what's crazy that I just realized that this look can literally go with any of the three lips that I created. But because I always do nudes and I know I'm gonna be doing more tutorials using these lip colors, I'm gonna be going in with the shade Mamacita. And I really love it. I think it's like a perfect like deep wine red, blood red color. It just looks gorgeous on. And I think this is a color that looks great on any skin tone. You can do a totally bare eye with this lip. You can do an intense eye like this with the lip. You can also do just a wing liner. Like there's so many things you can create with it. And I really just thought, you know what? I'm already here. I already went all out. 
I might as well just go out with the lip. So I'm gonna clean up my lip first. This is a very important step when you guys use any of the ultra matte lips, is to completely have it bare from any kind of product being on the lip. Anytime you have product already on your lip, especially like foundation or powder, there's like a texture on there. So the ultra matte lip picks up to that texture and sometimes it can, it can kind of change the formula. So it's just important to take it off. There you have it on so that your lip is bare from any other product being on there. So I'm now gonna go in with the Mama Sita lip pencil and define my lips. And now I'm gonna go in with the Mamacita lip color. So once I apply it on, I make sure not to mush my lips together anymore and I let it dry. Make sure to apply the lip liner, the color, let it dry, don't mush your lips together after that, let them just sit that way. Once it's dry, literally go back in with the lip pencil and just kind of smooth out the edges if you need to. Don't apply any more of the color, just apply the lip liner and you will notice like that it just looks so different. It wears differently as well, rather than going in and reapplying lip color over it and creating layers and layers and layers of the color. Wow, here is the final look using my new collection. I really can't tell you guys how excited I am that the date is finally here and it's finally out. And I really just hope that if you guys do get it, that you guys love it as much as I do. I know when I created this, I really wanted to make something that took me out of my box, but also I could create any look I wanted to, which is why I did a variety of eyeshadows and lip colors that I felt we're just perfect for all year round or any occasion i'm really happy with the way this came out and i'm happy with the way it looks all together if you guys do end up getting the i love sada e and ColourPop collection please be sure to use the hashtag i'm gonna link it right here so i can find your pictures and repost you on my instagram or my snapchat or twitter i just want to really want to be able to share the love with the world and show them all the amazing talent that's out there as well if you guys have any makeup requests using my collection please let me know below i do have a few more tutorials coming up so don't you worry this is not going to be the only look but like i said i want to hear you guys and see what you guys want as well all right so i'm out of here i'm on my way out to dinner and i'm out there to go slay the world and show them what's up see you later bye